Here we go at 152 pounds, a matchup of top 10 opponents. Here we go. That is Sealy in the blue, Lockett in the red. No score yet. And they'll give the two to lock it there on that go behind like. Lock it, looking trap arm here. Sealy able to defend it off for a moment. Now just kind of high gut there and we'll get a restart. Two nothing, lock it here. Man, it's... It's matches like this. If you're within a drive of Atlanta, Georgia, there are tickets still on sale. Get down here or up here, depending on your location. Sealy on a good fake there, looking to take center. Got Lockett on the edge. Lockett takes some ground back, however. Now they're both in the center. Lockett, beautiful duck attempt, but Sealy able to counter it off. He gets to a foot of his own, and he'll get a takedown to match it, and 2-2 two, two is the score currently. Sealy, North Carolina State champion, his freshman season. This past year, he was a national preps champion. Lockett, one Ironman. Both these guys are just hammers. Another battle of top 10 athletes here. Number five and number six in the country. I believe Sealy has criteria currently, uh, not that it's not that it's probably going to matter with a minute 20 in the first period, but you know, just in case you're wondering at home, Sealy with criteria, he scored last. They'll call one. They'll give one blue. Sealy now with a 3-2 lead here, a minute nine to go. For all my Georgia fans watching, it's, I remember two years ago when I first, that's a big four by Joe Sealy. As I was about to mention, I met him at Roundtree Wrestling Academy. He was an eighth grader and he reminded me then, he still reminds me, for my George people, you'll get this. He reminds me of a young Jackson Smith. The way he wrestles, how quick he is. And Lockett now on a re-attack. But that's my comparison for Celia. Young Jackson Smith is Lockett now looking for some exposure. And we'll get a potentially dangerous there. White paddles, officials all around. 41 seconds left in the first period. Seven to two the score, my bad. The Midian Legends with a victory. 10 victory. A good counter step double there by Sealy to give him this 7 2 advantage as he's in on the legs. Looking for some exposure here. Lockett able to put his foot back and defend it. Sealy might go turn through. And it, get, and it gets white paddled. No exposure there. No points scored. Ref on the mat went for it. Got white paddled off. It's still 7 2s. We got 10 seconds left in the period. Lock it here on the edge again, and he'll go for a throw. Little confusion here on the score. I believe it's. The score will be eight to three in favor of Joe Seeley. Seven three. Seven three in favor of Seeley. Yes, because that last point was put up for the step out. They switched it. Okay. Score will be seven to three. Next up, we'll see Ty Lillard and Jed Webster. Webster, Vision Quest, and Lillard representing Mambas. And we'll get back underway here in the second period. Sealy with a four point advantage after the step out. Lockett's flashing some footwork here. Sealy just walking down a little bit here. 
Lock it, beautiful boot scoot, won't score off it yet. Still no score called. Sealy looking to limp leg out. He'll get one for the push out though. That boot scoot, he's got, Lockett's got to it a couple times and all times he's gotten to a scoring position there. He does it again, it's seven to four now, closing the gap. Lockett flashed it again, Sealy countered it this time. Sealy had it scouted, two looking for the fall and he gets the fall, confirmed. And a fall for Vision Quest. That's just Sealy with a victory for 